Il-tema ewlenija għal-14 l-edizzjoni tal-Malta International Arts Festival ija l-ilma. U għalek għad ta' xoliet se jittellaw propju fil-port il-gbir. Wahda mil-medet ta' ilma f-pajjizna li l-aktar li sawret l-istorja ta'na. Il-ftuħ tal-program se jisir min fuq Fernandez, xini tork. U l-program uwa maħsub sabiex jol otudjenzi ta' sew diversi. The Malta International Arts Festival this year is focusing a lot on its on an outreach dimension. Uh, and one of the ways we tackle and achieve that is by bringing on board a beautiful gullet, which is the Fernandez one. We are using it uh, and in two in two ways as two devices, primarily as a floating stage. And when we do that, that means we're taking performances, artistic performances of high international level to various communities, namely uh, Marsa Schlock. Calcara, Isla, Slema, St. Julian's and Marsa Scala. And in that kind of a context, we are literally shipping in, we navigate <laughs> the performances of these beautiful artists, whereby we go to these localities and we offer the opportunity for people who are not usually um, known to want to go to a particular performance, we are taking the performance to them. So that's on the first element. Second side, we're also using the Fernandez as a itinerant, beautiful piece of theater. What do I mean by that is that we are actively seeking people to come on board the Fernandez and to enjoy the landscape that the Grand Harbor offers us. And in it, we create and curate a piece of performance that goes about and tells the story of all the beautiful legends and true folk and myth that happened within the Grand Harbor. When the Fernandez actually goes to the locality, when the floating stage goes to the locality, the idea is to invade the locality with a beautiful high end of art through music, through dance, and through different, different kinds of disciplines, we are attracting the people, we are inviting the people to come to the shut, to get to their square, to get to their shoreline, so they can witness the beauty of the performances that are happening within the floating stage. One of the uh, brilliant ways we feel we are achieving our capacity and outreach dimension is that this year, particularly, we are working with MCOS students, with the, with the Institute of MCOS, with students who have developed um, over the course of these past few months um, installation pieces uh, in a kind of Grand Prix style where we whittle them down to two particular projects and these two installations will be actually held in different localities as well, namely uh, Marsa Schlock and Melliha, whereby we take works of art, public installations, which are going to be on the square where people can truly appreciate the work, the commitment and the ingenuity of these young artists. From uh, artistic linguistic point of view, from a currency of an artistic point of view, it is crucial, imperative and of utmost importance that high quality artistic product gets seen not just by the few, not by the same old people, that's me included, and you know a lot of people that end up just going, to, it's always the same two to five hundred people that get to have the opportunity to experience these projects. So it is of utmost importance that art culture of high quality is taken to the people. It is only when we start developing and attracting that kind of quality that we can plant a seed of hope, of expression, of intuition in children. Because the children will be at the end of the day, if we can target the children, the community, they will be the ones that will grow, that will develop and better our project. The aim, the objective of such, a, of such work should be that within 10 years time, what we are doing today, in 10 years time, should look like chicken feed by what should be happening in the next 10, 15, 20 years. The Malta International Arts Festival this year, on the 29th, that is next week, really extends an open invite to all the public to our opening. What makes this opening really special for us is the fact that it is open to everyone. It's not a ticketed event, it is not a by invite only event, there's no VIP area, it's truly an open democratic process where we're expecting 
the people to come and enjoy flavors and snippets of what the festival has to offer. On the 29th, so much so, we will have elements that, is, that are from the floating stage. We'll be having circus arts, a liquid light show. With all these things put in together, gives the public a flavor of what is happening. But more than that, we're also encouraging the public not just to come on this beautiful social evening where people can really get a flavor and a taste of everything, but it will be a great opportunity where they can actually meet the artists that are participating in the festival. So there'll be meets and greets, lots of great booze, lots of great food, and a great opportunity to come and see what the Arts Festival has to offer this year in 2019.